Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Riff999. <clears throat> and welcome back to Let's Play the Stanley... Uh, you are playing the Stanley Parable, or the Stanley Parable. Now, I think this is going to be the finale, because, uh... Because, uh, we're just going to be looking over some secrets and Easter eggs that I had to find <coughs> on YouTube. And, uh... Yeah, hold on a minute. So, we've done everything. All the choices, I think. We did everything on the left, we did everything on the right door. We did, we did everything. We basically, yeah, we basically did everything that we needed to do. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, apparently, there's just some things that I did miss. And, uh, we are going to be do- Oh! Oh! Lucky me! Alright! So, hold on. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply. All right, this is one of the secrets. <laughs> the whiteboard ending. Co console bark. Oh my God! All right. So yeah, this is a. Uh, this is one of the secrets. In this, is the the whiteboard ending. I uh. I looked up. Apparently, once you get to Bloom, you have to click on one of the doors. And, uh, well, that was, that was random. Alright, so I'm guessing that this is, okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his Here's own. another little secret. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, I think this is one of the people that made the, the Stanley Parable. Uh. Yet there was not a actually, I'm actually, I'm kind of curious if the, the oh, the broom closet is, Stanley okay. decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, no, Stanley I wonder walked if, upstairs uh, to his boss's office. This is just me looking for secrets. No, this is, okay. I think I'm going to need to try again. Alright, here's a, here's another ending that can happen. Uh, hold on. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by, he um, no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. All right. Uh, here's another Easter egg uh, thing. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers. Stanley thought, "How amusing they'll find it." Oh, won't we all just laugh Come and on. laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? There we go. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Just a second. There we go. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map. <laughs> Until he heard this narration, uh, he realized it was part of the game's boy. design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea, but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now, think about it. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? 
Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? Hmm. How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Hmm. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Alright, uh, let's try that again. Uh, Alright. Mm -hmm. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What's that noise? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Alright. I hear rain. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Alright. All right, so we're gonna choose yes. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want, like right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. There once was a man named Stanley. Oh my god, are you guys saying? Considered so manly. Oh my god. But the truth must be told. He was not very old, and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way. But his brain had long ceased to function. Which is why he is in this parable. And lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong, and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. You too will become quite unbearable. Well, you're done. I keep hearing rain. I'm gonna wait a minute. Uh... Alright, I think I'm done. So, alright, here's another uh, thing. Here, hold on. Let me just... Uh... No, I didn't mean that! <laughs> Fart! Trying to type in a uh, face punch, which is supposed to be the creators of, of Gary's mod. Hold on. Punch. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! 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 My God! Oh! I. His co-workers were. Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Oh my god. I broke something. I I think I broke something. <laughs> oh 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 no. Oh 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 
hole. Oh, it goes on. It literally goes on. When Stanley came to a set of oh, two open doors, this was not the God. correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley it goes on. <laughs> well. Perhaps he wanted to stop it by the employee on. lounge first, oh just to admire it. Oh my God! What happened? <sighs> yes, truly what? a room worth admiring. But what? eager to get back oh to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh my God! It goes on. It left. It literally goes on and on. What? Oh my God! And so what? he detoured through the maintenance section. Walk straight ahead to the opposite door and walk uh, back on track. Oh, oh, oh my! Well, this, well, this for. Um, yeah, I definitely broke something. Yet there was not a single person here either. Uh, Feeling a wave oh, of disbelief, oh, oh, man. Stanley it's decided the broom, to go up to his closet. boss's office. Oh. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back. Coming um, to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh my god. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Alright, uh. Oh, nice. All of his co workers hmm. were gone. What could it mean? All right, Stanley decided to uh, go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. There's another, uh. Something here. Uh, sorry, I got an itchy leg. Oh, okay. Uh, ah, yes, this thing here. Um, so apparently, the input receive thing is, in fact, important um, to the uh, story. Um, because apparently, no matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trait. Hold on. Let me go back. Uh. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started, and if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. Oh! Oh, here's another thing. Okay. Um... So yeah, I found something else. Uh... What was this? Oh, okay. Um... Hmm. Oh. oh, okay. Uh, hmm. When no. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ah, nice. Uh, no? Alright. Hmm. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. He'll be coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. So I think... No? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Uh... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go Where to the meeting room. Perhaps he had thing. simply missed a memo. Hold on a minute. Uh... Hmm. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Uh, hold on. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Trying to find the thing that... Ah! Here it is. Here's another. Alright. Uh... Oh, fart. Alright, I need to restart again. Um... Alright, so there's that. Um... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Oh! Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley okay. looked, no. he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh, fur. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the it's office, not working. but it didn't make a single difference. Oh, I guess I need to find something else, I guess? I don't know. Uh, hmm. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch it's not them. Working. It was only a matter Wait. of time. 
Can I get up there? Hold on. Oh! There it is! Alright, um, hmm. Hold on. And then... There it is! Alright, here's, here's, okay, input received, wait. What? Heaven? Oh. What? What? What in the world? This is heaven? This is my heaven. Really? It's just me? Oh, I'm gonna push every single button ever. And no one is going to stop me. Oh, it lights back up. Oh my god. Okay. Seriously? Wow. Holy moly. Oh my. Alright. I guess. Jesus. Alright, so that's my. That's one of the endings to this. Now, apparently, there's a. There's something. No, not again. There's a. Already, this was uncomfortable. And Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. Huh. So, alright. Here's another ending. When uh, Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Um. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Hold on. Alright. Uh, here's the secret. Um. Stanley. Oh. Alright, um. And then I was told I was supposed to go all the way back downstairs. Or wait, can I go all the way down stairs? Wait. Hold on, I want to try this first. Uh. Oh, it's locked. Oh, fart. Um, wait, what's it? Oh. Hmm. Alright. So I'm supposed to go this way. And then all the way back here. Well, the narrator must not know where I am. He probably thought I disappeared. Unless he's still talking, he's an idiot, and he thinks that I'm in the office. Oh, it's closed. Alright. So... Hmm. Huh. So... Apparent... Oh! Oh! Oh, what? Oh. I'm leaving. Oh, I'm leaving? Oh, fart. Um. Oh. Oh, it's all turned off. It's all gone. Okay. Um. So. Escape pod. Oh. Hmm. Wow, um, was this the same office? Oh, it is the same office, uh, hmm. Oh, weird, alright, um, yeah, it's literally the same office, uh, huh. I'm just gonna keep going up and up. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Oh. More, more, one more floor. Um. Skate pod launch bay. Ooh. All right. Um. Oh. Just 
Gonna keep going, I guess. Um, oh. <gasps> See, escape pod. Oh. Alright, uh, here I go. Oh. What happened? What happened? Wait. Okay. Um. How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. This is great, he thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I okay. got what I wanted. Um. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So what happened? What? What's the escape pod ending? What am I supposed to do? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his hmm. boss's. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Just a second. So apparently there is there is a secret. Uh, this is a kind of a secret room, kind of. That's terrible. Um, okay. Apparently if you go into this elevator and you go up Oh boy. It leads nowhere. It just leads back here. That's all it leads. Alright. Um, and also, I think this is open as well. It is! Alright! Uh, this is the blue bath. Got the feeling money's for stealing, but no, it was a force of the other. Okay. So, yeah, this is, uh, the blue bathroom. Which is another secret. Mmm. And uh, we're gonna try and go through the. Stepping into his manager's office. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Stanley ventured forth into the newly opened passageway. Um, wait a minute. It's not opening. Wait. Um. I think I broke something. <laughs> Wait, did I? Did I break something? Oh, fart. Um. Okay then. Guess we have to try again. Stanley decided to uh, go to the meeting room to hmm. check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself. And Just a second. Okay, so here's uh, one last thing, or not last thing, but uh, here's uh, this here's uh, one of another facility. secret. It was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly?
weird. <laughs> uh, alright. Well. Hmm. That certainly was interesting. Oh, I'm back here. Uh. uh White ball! Okay, so here's another secret. Uh, so apparently, uh, if you activate, uh, SV cheats, one. Oh. Oh, what? Stanley, this is me being serious. In fact, this is my serious room. What? It's where I come to be serious. That table is the most serious table I could find. <laughs> I looked at many, many tables, what? hundreds of tables. It's possible I looked at over a thousand tables. I honestly don't know. The specific number isn't as important as the understanding that of all tables I looked at, this one is the most serious. I relate this story to impress upon you the extent to which this is the most serious room I have, which is why I brought you here. You just tried to activate server cheats, which of course runs the risk of breaking the entire server game. Server cheats! Oh, I'm an idiot! <laughs> okay, I don't... Um... I didn't know what, uh... SV cheats was. It's server cheats, okay. Wow. Got no respect okay. for the strict order of scripted narrative events, and I just can't have that. It's time to get serious, Stanley. No jokes, no games. Outside of this room, I might be more tolerant of those things, but now we're in the room. Which is why I'm subjecting you to the most serious punishment I can think of. One hundred billion trillion years standing here in the serious room. <laughs> Perhaps after that, we can talk about the severity of your actions and whether you've learned anything. But until then, serious room, go. Okay, let's do that again. Fart. Whoa, did we not have the talk? Are we not in the serious room this very moment? Did I not tell you how many tables I looked through? Uh. I'm going to be conservative and say it was somewhere in the tens of thousands of tables. Any reasonable person would say, I spent an absurd amount of time doing nothing but looking at tables. And I genuinely considered each one too. I took a hell of a lot of notes. I kept the notes in a different room. That room is less serious than this one. It's more of a... a notes room. Again, the point of this story is to convey how serious I feel this cheating issue is. And I'm sure you'll agree with me once you've fulfilled your new punishment. Infinity years in the serious room. Wow. I generally have trouble reading human emotions, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that you're devastated by this crippling new punishment. As well you should be. Infinity. It's the most serious I could wow. think of. Can you get more serious than that? No, you can't. Don't try. What's that again? <laughs> Alright, I always miss that. Hmm. Still no effect. The problem is clearly the serious room. It isn't serious enough. That's on me, Stanley. I apologize. I'm going to the store to look through more tables. Hopefully I find one that conveys how wrong what you're doing is. Now, where did I put those notes? Okay, let's do that again. Fart, I always miss that, I always miss that, mess that up. No? Nothing? Oh, okay. So, that's it. Um. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, that's it for the serious room. So I think that's it. I think that's honestly it for, uh, All everything. I, I can't really think of anything else mean, that I can find. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. I mean, Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. That's basically it. I mean, I can't really think of anything else I can uh, find, but... Yeah, that's about it. Um, hmm. Huh. Yeah, I think, I think that's it. Um... All right, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna look for some more secrets. I'll be right back.
Okay. Alright, so uh, apparently there was an ending that I didn't know about in this game. All of his code uh, was gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Alright, so yeah, there's a there's actually an ending I didn't know about at all. Uh so uh yeah, um I think I'm just gonna I think I'm gonna, actually you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off all the computers in the office if I can. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. Wait, hold on a minute. Oh what? Okay. Um alright. No, no input. Uh, all right. So, oh, whoops! Didn't mean that. Uh, just, all right. All right. Uh, here we go. All right. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No, no, I'm not doing that. No. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. No. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth it, but no. eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. So remember uh, when we go on the conveyor belt and we go up there and we pick up the phone? And remember that ending, the phone ending? Or apparently we keep pushing buttons and we end up home. It's just a fake wife. Apparently uh, you can do something Stanley else. So bad uh, at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Hmm. Look, Stanley. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Mm -hmm. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. That is the only choice, but... As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait, oh goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Hmm. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Oh. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. Oh my god. It's the best part of being a real person. Oh boy. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. Steven? He could spend years really? helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. 
or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Oh. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Um, practice, oh. Um. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis <laughs> is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Oh. Do you make more than eight? Less? Oh. And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Wow. That ah, was point. Welcome back. Whoa. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Whoa. Whoa. What happened? Oh, it's glitching out. That's what's happening. It's glitching out. Uh. Oh. Whatever. Whatever. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Whiff. Oh no, that'll just take me back to the serious room. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Hmm. Alright, so we got more safety stuff or something here. Was that always here? I think it was. I don't know. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, it's good to know I'm going all the way back through this whole thing. Um, you know you could just put me through that door, right? Um, I can just... Almost there. You'll take the door on the left. Back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once <coughs> again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Hmm. Alright, am I- wait, the real world? As in real- Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Alright. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, okay, I'll follow your directions. Alright. Does this still work, though? It does. Nice. Alright. Um. Yet there was not a single person here either. Hmm. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. So is this the same thing, like, as before, or is this just... Wait, broom closet? Oh, uh, what? Oh, broom closet's locked. Alright, uh, oh. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Wow, really? Okay. Alright, I guess I'll move forward. Wait, what happens if I get to the on and off button then? Uh, does this. Oh, no, that's not even labeled. Uh, okay, um. So is this. Well, this is different, um. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication okay. of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? 
There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Night Shark 115? Night Shark 115? Night Shark 115? <clears throat> Night Shark. Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver, right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. Night Shark Is this actually working, or is this... I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please, speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115. Why okay, am I saying it? Fine, oh. you're not going to do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you had better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. Oh. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um... Okay, I think I'm gonna go right this time. Uh... No! Oh, Why did you do oh, that? Okay, oh, hurry oh, back in the other direction. Perhaps oh, we're not too late. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. Everything's... Oh, no. It's all breaking. Oh, I, I should probably get out of here. Oh no! Oh boy! Oh no! This is not good. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, oh no! You, I can't believe after everything we oh, talked about that you, my, my story, you've destroyed oh, my work. My. Why? For what? It's what the did you red get door. Out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it, it's worth this now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there oh, were a way to continue, no. would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to oh, that? Oh, I no. I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving oh, its impossibility what? forever. What? I couldn't live that way. Oh, my. Is it better to shut the game what? down entirely? To willingly destroy what? all of my work? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, it's all broken. It's all breaking. No, I have to. I oh, have to no. Shut the game down. Oh, I have oh to. no. I have oh, to. oh, it's all broken. It's all broken. Uh oh. Oh, oh, it's so terrifying. Oh, my God. You know. One of the scariest ga things in video games is when a video game breaks like that. Oh. 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 Oh my god. Oh. oh I'm, I'm here. Oh. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. Oh. With you. Uh oh. You. Who thought you were so clever. Oh. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. Oh. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you run it into the oh, ground. My. What? Did you think that would be funny? <laughs> You just oh. had to see. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? Oh my he actually God. knows how to do what I tell him to. He what? understands that if I say to do something, what? there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole Look. underground facility. You would have destroyed what? it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Oh, uh, we're going back to the... Whoa. Oh, uh, what? 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 Oh, uh, wait. Hello? I'm up here. Uh, oh. Stan, please. I, Help me. I need you to make a choice. What? I need you to walk through the door. What? 
What? What? I'm up here. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? We cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? What? Whatever choice you make, it's just fine. They're both correct. You can't be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept <coughs> whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Chose. Do something. What? Anything. This is more important than you ever know. I need this. The story needs it. Oh. So, you hear me? Are you there? I'm up here. Can you see him? I'm up here. What? You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. What? What? Is that it? Oh, okay. All right. Wow. Wow. That's that was terrifying. That's the finale, I guess. So wow, that was I was actually kind of creeped out when the the game broke like that. That was kind of creepy. But wow, that was that was the Stanley Parable. That was everything. And, uh, well, uh, yikes. <laughs> wow, I mean, yikes. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I just took the Stanley Parable off of the wheel, and it's currently the, the section, I have three sections on the wheel that are out of service right now. So, the only things on the wheel right now are... Doom 2, uh, Star, War Star Wars uh, Jedi Knight Mysteries of the Sith, fin FNAF Sith Location, and the Room 3. And, um, yeah. <laughs> that was it. We beat the Stanley Parable, I guess. So, yeah, here we go. One, two. Oh, wait, fart. Hold on. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, was the volume on? Or, wait, it's just my headphones. Okay, I'm sorry. Hold on. One, two, three. All right, it's just my headphones. Sorry, I thought it was quiet. Uh, spin again. One, two, three. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell, ding, no dislikes, and leave a comment down below. Uh, out of service. All right. <clears throat> One, two, three. Out of service. One, two, three. Cut fart. Out of service. Hold on. All right. One, two, three. Wow, this really likes to land on our service. Alright, uh... Alright. One, two, three. The room three! Alright, uh... Anyways, thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye!